Canada has a long history of engagement in community economic development, social enterprise, and a variety of innovative uh, blending of business and community practice and interest. What it has lacked is an enabling environment to really support and advance this work to another level. And the recommendations of the task force really offer a framework that the government, business, and community people could work around in order to advance this work more significantly uh, within Canada. Impact investing has a, a appeal to myself and many other individuals because it offers an opportunity to leverage dollars more effectively in pursuit of financial return with social and environmental impact. It allows us a chance to move beyond traditional charitable giving and toward really investing in uh, broader elements of value creation and impact. If Canada doesn't take this opportunity to step up and advance this work in a more significant way, I feel that it will really be uh, a lost opportunity uh, for the people of Canada to participate not only in advancing their own interests within the nation, but also in participating in some of the more interesting initiatives that are taking place internationally with regard to finance and the leveraging of capital toward community ends and impacts. Private investors are always looking for an edge. They're looking for um, opportunities to invest in areas where perhaps the rest of the market hasn't seen an opportunity. And that really is uh, what's represented today by impact investing. That the combination of whether it's clean technology or community finance or microfinance, there's a host of areas where a variety of investors are really realizing that you can have financial performance with social and environmental impacts and it's not a question of charitable giving, it's a question of really using a, a new insight, a new lens to complement what are really fundamental investing practices that have proven successful in the mainstream markets. As we look to the future of impact investing, what we're really seeing is a, a capital convergence. What we're seeing are increasing numbers of mainstream market investors who are coming into the impact investing arena and realizing that they can do well financially and we're seeing growing numbers of people with primarily social and environmental concerns realizing that you have to have a, a market-based, economic-driven solution if we're really talking about true sustainability for the years to come. And it's really this combination of perspectives and power and instruments that will really unleash, I think, the full potential of impact investing in the years to come.